Welcome! Here's how to make moving objects. First of all, search for sequence or device. There will be some settings that we'll be using very soon. Now let's create new sequence. Open the new sequence. Here close the content browser and the menu is now displayed. You can see that our goal will be to get to the XP coin. For that we're going to use 3 R cubes. So let's start with 2 cubes. And how to add them. Here's the timeline and on the timeline we have amount of frames and settings that we can play with. Here is how I add a frame, press enter. When adding multiple keyframes and moving with the platform, the platform will move on the timeline. Now let's move with the other one. I'll move my keyframe back. You can also add three keyframes like that. So let's watch again. When I do this with my second one, which is the later cube one? Here I can also change location and scale. For now we've been playing with location. But now let's make something more difficult. I'm good at rotation. As you see now I'm moving with my cube. It won't be seen that perfectly. because I'm just moving 90 degrees with big cube. I'll redo some steps and make sure that I want to do this right. Now that's it. Okay, but let's talk about this cube map there. We want this cube A to be bigger. So our goal is to scale it up. How do we do this? We open the settings tab in rotation and we adjust the values there. Or we can simply use our selector mode and select the scale we want. I'll go with this for example. Okay, and finally, let's add our last cube, the starting cube. This cube will start from the ground. If the animation we've just set up needs to be started later, 
we can make sure that the timeline starts a bit earlier than our keyframes in the timeline. But that's just a bonus step for me. You can now insert three keyframes like this with three keyframes inserted. You can move with location, rotation, and scale simultaneously. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And now once we finished our third cube, you can see the outcome. We can still improve our other cubes. That will help us get to the coin. As you can see the scale is not in the right place. Because the cube in front of it hits it. So we can solve it with moving it and its keyframe. And by making it happen earlier. Okay, this seems kind of perfect. Let's add a material to our cube that will scale up. And finally, don't forget to save your sequencer. When you save it, you have level sequence saved in Content Browser. What you need to do now is to click on the camera, Cinematic Sequence Device and select the sequence we've just edited. Follow my settings here. You can also change the play rate if you want, or enable it by a different device. And that's it. That's how we got to our XP coin. Try our exclusive UEF in 3D models. Thanks for watching.